Hello and welcome on this beautiful sunny day here at beautiful Britland Park, the old soccer yard, as the Bristol Community College Bayhawks come in here rolling at 11 and 2. If they win here today, they have a possible shot at being the number one team in Region 21. The Bristol Community College Bayhawks are usually in their white and their green, but today they are in pink. And the CCR Knights are in dark green. Again, it's a beautiful sunny fall day here at the old soccer yard at Britland Park. I am your host, I am your facilitator. I am your commentator, David Cardoza. And we are ready to set off here on a beautiful day. It is going to be one great day here, sophomore day. It is the final regular season game and our sophomores will be on it after the game. Parents and sophomores will be on the field for photographs and all kinds of other chicanery. And here's a boot and we are underway. And speaking of your Bayhawks, Let's take a look in gold today is freshman Haley DeMello. She is one of the top goaltenders in Region 21. And going by her save percentage, she has one of the best save percentages in all of the nation. Ready? CCRI and throw in. And again, as I was saying, Haley DeMello in goal for the for the Bayhawks. Also freshman Alexandra Tavares. Your captains are Michaela Pinkson and Cassidy Raposo, both sophomores. <laughs> Coming up here from the far right middle side there. And again, your captains are Michaela Pinkston and Cassidy Raposo. Both sophomores will be honored here today. Mackenzie Kennedy, another sophomore, number 10. Number 17, Alyssa Totoro, a freshman. Eliano Barros, number 20, Brianna Borges, who is a sophomore. Caitlin Lopes. Ashley Fay, a freshman. Boy, she's got a hell of a leg on her. And Ashley Cordero as a freshman. Bristol Community College is led by first year head coach, Jason Tassinari, doing a heck of a job here this year. And is also assisted by Devin McKay. And here's the captain. Here comes Cassidy. You couldn't ask for a better day here. And that ball is going to go out of bounds. It's going to be a, looks like we're going to have a goal kick coming up by the Knights. I'm down on the field. I got the best seat in the house here. I'm down on field side. I'm on field level. Nice block in the chest there by number 27. Ashley Cordero. CCRI gets it over midfield. Number five, McKenna Lay. Oh, nice little nifty move there. The kick on goal and saved by DeMello. 
Knights definitely with an opportunity there. Demel's going to boot that out to around midfield. With a win today, the Bayhawks will definitely another kick there on goal. And DeMello almost lost that one. That would have been a disaster. And Haley. Eliani coming down the left side. Trying to beat her defender. And she'll get that one booted away from her. Eliani. That ball kicked towards the corner and out of bounds. And that's going to be a throw in. I think it's going to be. It's going to be off pink. All right, we're just getting underway here. If you just joined us here on FR Media, that ball goes towards the goal. It's going to be kind of passive, though. And while we're at it, why, we don't, why don't we name off the night starters in goal, the goaltender from Pawtucket, number one, Madeline Brassard, number two, Layla. Layla Insinsame. I'm sorry if I pronounced that name kind of chopped up there. Number three, Juliana Caprero. Number four, Juliana Marcella. Number five, McKenna Lay. Number eight, Veronica Lopez. Number nine, Brianna Jarrett. Number 10, Ariana Douglas. Number 11, Adriana Lima. Number 15, Monique Defonseca. And number 16, Arissa Hunt. Those are your starters for the Knights here. Here's Cassidy. Oh, she got that knocked away. Caprero loses it. Neither team has really been able to control the action. And there's a captain with a boot towards the goal. And Bressage will nonchalantly save that one. We're only about seven minutes in. Again, Bristol with a win here today. Will capture at least second place here in the region and host a home tournament game. Region 21 tournament coming up pretty soon. And if you wonder why Bristol is in pink, although it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Coach Jason Tassinari, the coach of the Bristol Bayhawks, his daughter Olivia was stricken with cancer. And she is in remission now, but she was honored this past Saturday at Britland Park in a tremendous ceremony at halftime. And if you look at the Bayhawks jerseys, the pink jerseys, it says, oh, strong, oh, for Olivia. It's a beautiful thing. There's number 17, boy, she's stunning. Stunning on the field. She's one of the leading scorers, but she loses it. There's the captain, Pinkston.
Griss will try to make something happen. Really haven't had too much continuity so far offensively. Captain trying to get in there. And again, nice kick to get it out of harm's way there by number 27. Ashley Cordero with the boot. It's warm out here today, about 67 degrees at game time as that ball sails out of bounds. Again, here come the Knights, blocked there, good block there by the captain. And a good job to get it out of, the, out of there again, it's Cordero. Both teams seem to be filling each other out here, no one with a real honest attack. Been kind of nip and tuck. But the Knights have had better chances here. And here they are again. Good job by Ashley Fay to get that one out of there. The freshman. Good defender on the back end there for the Bristol. Again, Bristol just seemed to be back on their heels, not really attacking, kind of just sitting back in their zone playing defense. McKenna. Oh, what a nice save there by, by Jamello. But that was a heck of a shot there by number two, Layla. And the Knights have had a few shots on goal, a few chances on Haley DeMello, but that was a heck of a save there. And again, with another chance, another boot towards the goal, and that's gonna go far, far to the right side. But again, the Knights on the attack. Put my sunglasses on here. That sun is bright. And again, oh, nice block there by Faye. Number four there. Goes wide of the net, but again, Gila Marcella just off the just off the right side of the net. The skull here, still nil-nil. And coming out for a goal kick here is Bristol. She's got a heck of a boot on her, Ashley Fay, Kicking out of her own end, here's the goal kick. There's the boot. And again, the Knights keep it in their own end. The Knights have controlled, they've definitely controlled the possession. with some nifty ball movement. They've had a handful of shots on goal here so far. That ball's gonna travel into the corner. Again, the Knights still in Bayhawks territory. Trying to get it out for a kick. Gets through there. Just couldn't do anything with it. Here goes number 17. To Toro. Oh, she's got it. She's got Eliani. Eliani needs to use that left foot, and she's going to lose it out of bounds. Couldn't track it down. Eliani looked like she held up there. A 
All right, here we get a goal kick coming out. Knights ready to kick one out of their own end. Looks like number 15, Monique Del Fosteco with the boot. That boot did not go far. Totoro, the kick off the top of the crossbar. The header. Holy cow. That was the best chance, the best chance there by the Bayhawks there. Boy, just a little bit lower that we're gonna go. Now Bristol, hope to build on this momentum. Coming up on the right side. Let's see what the Bayhawks can do. If you're just joining us, here comes McKenna. Knights back in Bristol territory. All little nifty pass. Up to McKenna, another boot. And it's gonna go far, the, far off the mark. But again, another scoring chance there. And the goaltender, Hallie DeMello, seeing a lot of action on her side. And there's a boot there by Ashley Fay. Didn't, <laughs> didn't exactly go too far. And again, the Knights are gonna keep it here. McKenna loses it. Here comes Cassidy. Oh Alyssa. Alyssa Totoro. Totoro going after it. But she'll hold up here. I thought maybe she could have had a shot there, but she holds up. And that ball is going to go out of bounds. It looks like it could be a corner kick. And it is going to be. This is my favorite play in soccer. You'll hear, me, you'll hear me say it time and time again. And let's see who's going to kick it out here. It's going to be Ashley Faye, number 24, kicking it out of a corner kick here. Knight stacking up in front of that goaltender. That ball's up, not too high, and it's going to get headed out of there by number 15, Dave Fonseca. That kick is out of bounds. And another shot there, another good short attempt, or a chance, I should say. But that ball was way too high. Here comes number five, McKenna. Oh, nice little pass up there. It's wide. Bristol has some daylight here, 27. Kicks it just a little bit too far ahead with the hustle. Oh, nice block. Nice block by Totoro. But it blocks, gets blocked right back to the goaltender. Who's gonna look to boot it out of her own end. So the Knights have definitely controlled hit the, the action for a good portion, but the Bayhawks, are, they've gained some momentum. They've had some good chances at scoring a couple goals, but just been too, too high on the mark. Oh, there's a push there, and the referee doesn't blow his whistle. Oh, goodness, yeah. Number 16, can't turn the corner, gets it taken away. 
by the Knights defender. Nice boot up there, sideline there. Nice boot by Cordero to go back into the Knights end, but it's gonna go out of bounds. Past the end line, it's gonna be a goal kick coming up here for the Knights. Hopefully this year you've enjoyed Bay Bayhawks soccer, Bristol Athletics, both teams, both Bayhawks teams, the men and the women's soccer teams are in Regional 21 championship contention. Both teams will be playing in their respective Region 21 tournaments. And good defense there. Way to come up and and knock that one away. Ashley Fay. She's got a leg for days. What are they bloody doing? Good job to kick it out of the harm's way by Cordero. But again, the Knights, they won't go away. They're like a tick. The Knights right now are like a tick you just can't rip off. But I swear the Knights have had the ball right here in this part of the field, the Bayhawks side of the field. This whole first half. There's a toss in. But again, pink defenders are there. Cordero kicked that one out. But again, she kicks it right into, right into some green jerseys. Let's see if the Bayhawks, if they can control the ball. They have not been able to control the ball. McKenna kicks that one up. And Jamelo will come and scoop this one up for the Bayhawks. Looking to boot it. Need a good boot. There it is. But again, right into a sea of green. Cordero kicks one off past midfield. And that one's gonna go out of bounds. It looks like it's gonna be off green. It's gonna be off the Knights. And because of that, it goes off the Knights. It's gonna be a corner kick. Corner kick here from the right side. We are scoreless here. That beautiful Britland. Kick to the center. Pinkston can't control it. Here's the captain. Cassidy, oh, I had that one blocked by McKenna. Cassidy. That ball goes out of bounds and it's gonna be green ball. The Knights head coach is Jim McGurr, his assistant, Mike Trudeau, their athletic director, Kevin Salisbury, of course, your Bayhawks directors, athletic directors, Derek Viveros, who definitely has, an, has been enjoying a fine, fine autumn of soccer, both his men's team and his women's team double figure wins top half of their conference it's been a good autumn so far for both these two autumn teams Pinkston kicked that one out of there but again Go 
There's number five, McKenna Leahy. Nice nifty pass up to the top. Faye gets it out of there. Can't keep it out of there for too long though. And again, today we are honoring all of our sophomores here at Bristol Community College for the women's soccer team. It's sophomore day here. And these girls, they've earned it. That ball towards the goal. But again, another shot on goal. That's going to be a save by Jamelo. Had an easy one there. She's going to kick it. That ball's high. And again, the Knights fight to keep it inside. Knights, they really do a good job of not just holding on to the ball. Good passes, great continuity on offense. Totoro gets knocked off the ball there. Great physicality by Monique Fonsec De Fonseco, number 15, to knock Totoro out the ball. There is number 15 again, De Fonseca. She's an excellent defender. That ball kicked down the right sideline. I think it's going to go out of bounds. It's not out of bounds yet. And it's going to be, it's going to be off. It's going to be off the Bayhawks. And we have a goal kick coming up here. by the gals in green. Bristol, they just have no one attacking. They got no one going towards the goal. They're not making things happen. They don't seem to be alive here today on a day where it's a great day to be alive. Need to see more exuberance. It's been all nights here. Here comes McKenna Leahy. Here comes Totoro. Totoro trying to keep this in bounds. You're going to come to the ball, girls. That ball's going to go out of bounds. And we're going to have another goal kick coming up here for the Knights. Today, October 23rd. Again, a lovely day for October 23rd. Tough to believe. It's almost the end of October. That can only mean one thing. Postseason soccer is coming up. Basketball. Stay tuned this winter for Bayhawks basketball as well. Ball. All I see is green going to the ball. Pinkston loses it.
Boy, they do a great job of passing. Here's McKenna. McKenna going to have a chance to get that one up at the goal. Oh, nice little nifty play there. They just cannot keep it out of their own end. Here comes Ashley Fay over the line. We have 15 minutes, we've played 20. I'm sorry, we've played 13 minutes here. I'm trying to do some fuzzy math in my head. We played 30 minutes, no score. I mean, the Knights have done well. They've held on to possession of the ball. They've had several scoring chances. That ball around midfield. Again, McKenna Leahy. Again, the Knights keeping it right here. When I see the Knights with the ball, I see a team that has a plan. Again, right at the, oh my goodness. Wow. Another shot on goal there. That looks like number 10, Ariana Douglas, who got another shot on goal, and Haley DeMello was there. I'd love to see her, her save total at the half. She has either seven or eight. But that was a great job by Haley, great technique to get down on her knees and not let that one go. Again, the Knights find themselves in familiar territory and that ball gets booted out of bounds. And I think we are going, yes, we are going to have a corner kick here. And the Knights have an excellent opportunity. McKenna Leahy is just going to dump this one in. They fooled Bristol. Bristol was back. That ball towards the net. And in front of the net, you got to get that one out of there. Kind of a passive kick. Ariana Lima at midfield. Oh, goes around a defender. Oh, that was beautiful. Lima. Right now, the Bayhawks look like they're running in the mud. They're, not, they're getting absolutely nowhere. There's no score, but make no mistake about it right now, the Knights are out playing the old Bayhawks here. They need to step their game up. You see this part of the field right here? It's been all Knights. And this part of the field right here, here. Bristol player knocked to the ground here, going to get a kick from around midfield. 
Ashley Fay will kick it for Bristol, and boy, she can boot it. There it is. Nice center kick. Pinkston trying to control for Bristol. Can't do it. And that ball's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be Knight's ball. The throw in here. We're approaching 10 minutes to play here in the first half. Oh, Cassidy. Bristol cannot just, they just cannot keep it. Oh, nice centered pass to McKenna Leahy. McLeahy's going to have a shot at it. The kick on goal, far right. She kept it in. And boy, Bristol got lucky there. That ball looked like it was off the mark. It was off the mark, but they kept it. They kept it in the field of play and had another shot at it. Are you kidding me? Demello's been good in that, but she's got to be careful there. There's some balls you need to dive for, and there's some balls that can do you harm if you try to dive for them. McKenna Leahy got daylight. Well, these girls can make up skill. That ball in the net. Oh! Wow, what a save there by DeMello. And she has been bailing the Bayhawks out time and time again. But how many times can you live like that? Good God. Totoro runs it to a tray. Lima. Boy, Bristol, they really have been on the defensive all game long. Totoro. You got to attack. You got to attack if you're Bristol. It's a pass. But she's going to get outrun. Boy, that could have been an excellent opportunity there. Sixteen, Brianna Joseph will toss in from the corner. It's going to be a toss in here. But Bristol, I feel, has just been coming up short, not getting to the 50-50 balls. They're being out hustled. They're being outplayed here. Better get the act together here in the second half. I'm sure Coach Jason Tassinari will definitely have this turned around here. It's a huge game here for Bristol. Captain fighting it out there, but it's going to be Knights. Knights are going to get a kick here. Bristol crowd is quiet here today. Lima. Knights here on the attack. Another ball towards the goal. And Jamello. 
will be there to scoop it up. Boy, she's had a lot of action there today. She's definitely got to be on her toes. That ball sails over midline, but where's, where's the pink? Where are the girls in pink? It's been a great year for the Bayhawks. They've had an excellent season on the first year coach, Jason Tassinari, who's done a heck of a job. Turning around a soccer, a women's soccer program who didn't even make the Region 21 tournament last year. Had a losing record. Oh, Totoro. Turn the corner, the shot there. Let's go! <laughs> Alyssa Totoro, number 17, with the score. And the Bayhawks are up 1 0. And despite being outplayed all the first half, when you need a goal, number 17 puts it home. And that's the one thing about Bristol. Even though you beat them up, you beat them down. They are the ultimate opportunist. The Knights have been in Bristol zone all game long. They've outplayed them all great, all game long. Goaltender Haley Jamello, the freshman, has been on her toes all day long, and all it takes is one goal. That's the beauty of soccer. You could be getting your booty beat all game long, and all it takes is an excellent play, an excellent goal by an excellent player. Listen to Toro, turn the corner there. And oh, what a great job that was with the left foot, getting it around the goaltender, Madeline Brassard. Excellent angle there on that, on that last goal that you just seen by Totoro, but she's been doing it all season long. And there she is again. What a thing of beauty. And it is one nil. It's a shame for the Knights because they've been playing great defense. Right here, Captain America. There you go, young lad. All right. We've played nearly 42 minutes here in the first half. We're coming up on three minutes to play. Knights. Don't think that this one is over. The Knights have been playing great soccer here. They really have. Like I said, offensively, it looks like they have a clue. Like they have a plan. Like there's continuity. Good passing. They have good passing, like right here. Watch this. And let's see what the call is. Get a whistle on the play. It's going to be a kick coming up here. Let's see what they do with it. Number three, going to come up and kick this one. Juliana Caprero from Foster, Rhode Island. CC Rhode Island, CCRI and Bristol Community College. Great rivals over the years. That ball goes into a C. Oh, got to be careful there. Got to get that one out of there. The Knights keep it there. Boy, they're relentless. That ball goes into the corner. And 
Let's see what happens here. That might be off a of bristle defender. It's going to be. And because it is, it's going to be a corner kick coming up here for CCRI. This one not going into the sun. There's a boot towards the goal. Oh, great job there by Faye. Losing the ball. Goodness gracious. Number 16 trying to kick that one out of there. Less than two minutes to go. Ooh. A filthy play there. Number 16 hits the ground. Helicopter going overhead. I want to give a shout out to our student athletes. This is midterms week. I like to call it hell week. It's a very stressful time, and these girls have been putting on a clinic the last week, putting themselves in great position in Region 21. Not exactly sure. What we got going on here, might have a timeout. And we're gonna have a timeout on the field here. Or is that the half? Where'd the time go? Well. From the looks of the clock, it looked like we had a minute, 30 seconds left to play. Well, that's going to be it of the first half of play here at the old soccer yard here at Brit Britland Park in this NJC AA Region 21 matchup here on the final home game of the season, sophomore day. And it's a beautiful day for it. And your Bristol Bayhawks, your women are up 1-0. And they're looking to make it 12-2 on the season and try to roll Roll, roll into Region 21 tournament coming up. All right, it's halftime here. I'm David Cardoza. Stay tuned for second half action. 1-0 at the half. Your Bristol Bayhawks have the lead for this NJC AA Regional 21 matchup. Look at Denise doing her job. She is great at what she does. Hello. She is majestic at camera work. We have to give shout outs here on the last game, the last regular season game that is for Bristol. Looking for win number 12. Uh, it would be a dozen wins for the first year coach. And let's talk about the first half. Haley DeMello, eight saves. Eight official shots on goal, eight saves for her. She has one of the best save percentages in the nation. She has been wonderful. Good God. And for that goal, Alyssa Totoro has continued her magic here today. And boy, did she save the Bayhawks in the first half with a nifty, lovely goal. Coming around the left side, turning the corner, and zipping one past the CCRI goaltender. Look at the beautiful foliage here. It is a vintage autumn day. But the Knights, I was talking about the Knights and what they did in the first half. They really dominated. For what it's worth, they really dominated the first half. They dominated, dominated the possession game. 
They had more shots on goal than your Bayhawks. They really did outplay them. But sometimes in soccer, you can get outplayed all game long and have nothing, and the other team can have nothing to show for it. Throwing in from her own end, Brianna Jarrett for the Knights. Jarrett gets it in. Nice header there. McKenna Leahy, shot on, goes over, over the fence. And McKenna Leahy, she's had some chances. Nifty footwork she had. And that ball just sailed on her. And we're just getting underway here. Bristol with an outside chance at the number one seed in the Regional 21 tournament. Definitely with a win here today, they can have a home playoff game, a home tournament game. One nil. Again, if you're just tuning in, Bristol with the pink jerseys. Oh, this cast gets it knocked away. Number Deuce Deuce trying to turn the corner against a bigger defender. And that ball's gonna go out of bounds. It's gonna stay here. Number six to throw in. Tavares, and that's going to go off, Kate. And that's going to be a night nice throw in here. Killer Pinkson, captain, throws it in. Oh, getting knocked off the ball there by McKenna Leahy. Great physicality there. And that ball's going to get through, but it's going to roll to Haley DeMello. DeMello, a freshman. She's had an outstanding freshman campaign. McKenna Leahy, number five. She's had, spent a lot of time with the ball at her feet. McKenna to set up, gets it centered. Ball might sail out of bounds, it's going to. Alexander Tavares will throw in here. On the sideline. Michaela Kit Pinkston kicks it out. Boy, they do a good job of passing. Oh, McKenna. Oh, another shot. Man, another good pass there. That was a good pass there to set it up. And McKenna Leahy just wide of the mark. Number four. Gonna get booted and go out of bounds. Jarrett gets it in. Number four. Ooh, nice boot. Nice little pass there. McKenna again. Oh, goodness gracious. 
<laughs> Another one just wide, boy. She's had like seven shots on goal, unfortunately for her. Just sailing on her, but man, the Knights are getting good passes. They're getting good passes front and center, especially for one of their top offensive players, McKenna Leahy, to lay her foot into it, and she just, just cannot connect. But boy, it was all there for her. It's been a barrel of frustration here for the Knights. But the Bayhawks, I tell you what, they're lucky that they're up 1 0. They're up 1 0 and a great goal by Totoro, but this whole game, the Knights have controlled it. It's got to be bloody frustrating for them. Good God. I can only feel, I can only imagine how they feel having so many opportunities. And really, really the, the Bristol team has really sat back on defense, hoping that the Knights will go away, but they won't. Jarrett throws it in, and Tavares kicks it out. Get this man on camera right here. <laughs> the athletic director right there, right there, Denise. Get a shot at that man right there as he walks by. The AD, Derek Viveros. The architect of Bristol Athletics. Thank you. Here comes number four. Number four's got daylight. Oh, no, nice, nice little nifty move there. Gonna kick it with the left foot. Just couldn't get enough on it there. Number four, Giola Marcella. She went through Bristol defenders like Swiss cheese. Another ball out of bounds. Another throw in for number nine. If Bristol can escape out of here today, it'll be a godsend. They have the lead, 1-0, but lots of time left on the old clock there. We're about approaching the 10 minute mark here for time played. We have a goal kick here coming out at the Bristol, the Bristol end. Ashley Fay kicks it up there to number 16. I don't know what Bristol's doing here. I know I might sound like I'm all over them, but they're really playing this game really passively. And if it wasn't for one goal by Totoro, this game could be a different story right now. Here's McKenna number five, McKenna Leahy. She's had plenty of shots on goal here today or off the mark as well. Coming over the midline is Totoro. Just can't connect with her teammate there, Pinkston. Again, the Knights in possession of the, of the ball. Tavares kicks it back up to midfield. But the Knights will keep it here. Knights do a great job of always finding someone in the center of the field to kick it to.
I just think right now the Knights are doing a better job of communicating, coming to the ball, helping their teammates out. And right now, it seems like the Bayhawks are just playing not to lose. They're not playing to win this game right now. They're playing not to lose. They're sitting back on their laurels. And if they keep doing that, it could be a bloody disaster here. You don't want that. Get, need this game here today. Marcella gets it booted away. Knights will keep it here. And I think they're gonna get the captain. Oh. Here's McKenna. McKenna. McKenna does a good job of using her body. That kick towards the goal. And DeMello there to take it away. I don't think that ball really had a shot at doing anything major, but it's still there. Jarek does a good job of keeping that one in. You gotta push the ball if you're Bristol. You gotta attack, you gotta push the ball. right now, I think Bristol just being out physical. CCRI definitely has some athletes out there. They got some women out there built like athletes. And they got some seed, they got size and, and definitely athleticism and physicality on their side. And they really have handled Bristol here, and it's just odd to say, it's very odd to say because Bristol has the lead. But Bristol, they cannot play just to try to hold on to this lead. They need to attack. Lima will throw in. Again, if you just join us right here, Bristol is in the pink. They're wearing pink for Olivia, Jason Tassinari's daughter. Stricken with cancer within the last couple of years. And after months and months of treatment and prayer. And resiliency. And positive energy. And everything else. We are proud to say here that Olivia is cancer free. And that's a beautiful thing. So it's Olivia Strong here. Again, sophomore day. Bristol sophomores will be honored after the game here. Kate, number 22, trying to turn the corner. But she'll lose it out of bounds. And the wind is starting to pick up. And business is going to start picking up here now. Time to get down to the nitty gritty. We are 15 minutes in this game, in this match. Oh, nice little nifty move there by Jarrett. Kicking up to Marcella. That was actually Bristol ball. And that's going to go out of bounds. Number 15 with a strong throw. Faye on the back end. Nice throw in. Oh, better watch it. DeMello's gonna come out, slide after it. 
great, brave job there by DeMello as she's going to run into the ninth player. A little bit of a collision there. Marcella, number four for the Knights, running into the Bristol goaltender, Haley DeMello. But she seems to shake it off and be okay. Again, it's getting a little breezy. Temperature dropped just a little bit. Still lovely out here. Bright sunshine. The Knights have been fighting. They've been fighting against one of the top teams. Bristol, one of the top teams in Region 21. There it is. Number 10 keeps it alive. Oh. And DeMello's there to scoop it up. Another save for her. I guess they'll give her a save on that one. She's going to boot it out. Booting it into this wind. Again, when Bristol, when Bristol has the ball. Oh, number 22, Kate, the kick. Oh, just didn't have enough on it. And she's kicking into that wind. It sails wide of the mark, but it's definitely a chance there for number 22. Caitlin Lopes, the freshman. She had it all there for her front and center, but she just, just couldn't get enough on it. And she looked a little indecisive there, but still a good job. The Knights have done a better job at controlling the ball, controlling the game. With cool, crisp passes. Definitely had better communication as a whole. Overall, we're coming up here with 27 minutes to play in the game. Monique with a strong throw into the field of play. Good job of using her body there as McKenna. McKenna looking to turn around. Oh. Cassidy will boot that one out and again. Bristol, Bristol again, sit back on defense. Marcella kicks it out to the wing. A little give and go action, like in basketball. Oh, good job there by, to intercept it. Marcella back to number 10. Number 10 looking to get it on goal, and she just can't, just can't get enough with the boot on it. And we're going to have a goal kick coming up here. Under 26 minutes to play. We've played 19. One nil still at the old soccer yard. We are here at the Old Sock Yard, about a, almost a week out from Halloween. No ghost and ghost here, only the camera woman. Just joking there, Casper. Maybe a goblin. Cheerio. <laughs> so, I tell you what, right now, the Knights, they've done everything today. They've done everything but throw the kitchen sink at Bristol, and they still have not been able to get one by Haley DeMello. Little contact, little incidental contact there. Better get it out, Marcella. Marcella with the boot. Oh, great job there by Faye to get in the way. Ashley Faye there, get a body on it. Deflected it out of bounds, but that's not good because it's going to be a corner kick. Okay. 
We have a corner kick here coming up for the Knights. And they have another opportunity. If you keep knocking on the door, maybe you'll eventually knock it down. All right, this kick is coming at yours truly right now. Let's see where she boots it. There's a kick. It's going right at the goal. And it goes right at the side of the net. The placement just a little bit off. Just a little bit off. I think what the Knights player there was hoping for, hoping to get that one right in the goalie box there, hoping it would, you know, maybe deflect into a Knights player. And she kicked that ball right into the side of the net. I'm talking about that last corner kick. Monique, oh, Monique finds it back. Monique, gonna use her left foot, oh. I think she was trying to go to Marcella number four. Just couldn't connect with her. Alyssa, oh, Totoro loses it. Fighting it out at midfield. We have a whistle. That sun is bright. And that kick is passive. Passively towards the goaltender, Madeline Brassard. She hasn't seen too much action out there today. Marcella can't track it down. And that ball's gonna go out of bounds. It's gonna be Knight's ball. The Knight's gonna have a throw in here. Lima. Ooh, Faye kicks that one out of bounds. Bristol's game plan, but they really packed it in. And it really sat back and, and played defense. with a strong throw in. Look at McKenna posting up, being double teamed. Oh, Marcella trying to get it back to McKenna Leahy, but just couldn't connect. Knights keep it here, and that ball will be lofted towards the goal, but off the mark. And DeMello comes out and controls it again. And a good day for her. The Knights have played well, but this game overall has lacked passion. It's lacked energy. But as we've seen in these games, when it comes down to the last 15 or 10 minutes or so, it could be a slobber knocker. Coming up on 36 minutes in. I'm sorry, 26 minutes in. 
More fuzzy math by yours truly. Never was a math major, never claimed to be. So let's keep it simple. Coming up on 19 minutes to play. Actually, it is 19 minutes to go here. Here in Fall River. And Ashley Faye. Let's see if she can get a good, good strong kick here towards midfield. And again, Bristol has not been on the aggressive. The Knights have clearly been the aggressive here today. As we'll kick it back to their goaltender. I think both teams, well, especially the Knights, Bristol right now, they can pack it in, continue to play defense the way they are with time ticking. But the Knights, they definitely need to have a sense of urgency here. Just under 18 minutes to play. On the final regular season game at Britland Park. The, the final home regular season game for your Bristol Bayhawks. Again, I am David Cardoza. I am Davy Boy. It is currently tea time. Almost a little bit past four o'clock in the afternoon, four, four thirty. It's tea time. <laughs> and I think we might have a trip and call here. That doesn't look good. And I think that's gonna be. A kick that is going to be in very, very favorable position for the visiting team. Not, not a corner kick, but definitely a kick from the right side. This is like a little mini corner kick coming up right here. Bristol trying to build a little wall there, as you see. The header. That ball alive. Could be dangerous. Couple girls on the ground here. That ball loose. Crucial moments here. And a great boot there by Faye. Oh, great job by the captain. Pinkston can't turn the corner. I'll tell you what, it's hard. It's hard up there to turn the corner against these girls from, from Rhode Island, from CSRI. And number 17, Totoro. Oh, she gets it taken away. Toro will try to turn the corner like she did. All right, we have a player down, number 11. Number 11, Adriana Lima. Looks to have a lower body injury. We have an injury timeout. We have 15 minutes and 10 seconds to play here in the game as a trainer comes out. And we're gonna take ourselves a little break. It is one nil. Bayhawks trying to hold on to this game, trying to secure themselves a top one or two seed in the Region 21 tournament coming up this weekend as they look to host a tournament game. We're gonna take a break here and we'll be right back here on FR Media. 
All right, we are back here. We are back in action. The Knights just had a throw in. Ashley Faye, nice ball. Gives it to midfield. It's stopped there by the CCRI defender. CCRI, they need to roll here. They need to get things rolling. Final 15 minutes to go. They're looking to tie this game. They have an awful lot of chances here. Totoro gets that one taken away. Alyssa Totoro, she's the leading goal scorer for the Bayhawks. She's also the leading scorer in Region 21 for the fine season. And she has the lone goal here today, but has this score at one to nil. Bristol Bayhawks and the Bristol Faithful here on the final home game are hoping that that will hold up. And finally, the Bayhawks. Finally, the Bayhawks in CCRI territory. They have not been there a lot. Not been there a lot, that's for sure. They've had a hard time getting getting something going offensively. But they've done a good job in the back end. Ashley, Ashley Faye has had a good game. Haley DeMello pitching a shutout so far. But offensively, they've been a little bit stagnant. One breakaway goal. Other than that, very few chances. Very few chances. Cass. Cassidy gets it over midfield. Cassidy brings it back out. Well, the Knights have just been there every time. Every time Bristol has tried to get something going, they just can't. Marcella, Marcella loses at midfield. Eliani, just can't get enough on it. Coming up on 12 minutes to play, just a dozen. Marcella runs after it and a big boot there to get it out. And knock it away is Ashley Faye. McKenna up to number 10. The two gals there for CCRI, number four, Julia Marcella, number five, McKenna Leahy. They've done a great job at trying to make things happen and get shots on goal. Been offensive cogs for them, but they just just been unfortuitous. There's a shot. Ooh, and a ooh, ooh, and that is a great save there. And that has just been the story of the day for CCI. But a great shot there by McKenna. Just couldn't find the back of the net. I'm not even sure how she got that through there. She th definitely threaded the needle there. McKenna Leahy, and boy, she is, it's been a course of bad luck and being stoned there by Haley DeMello. DeMello has found herself lucky as well, but that was a good, definitely a good diving save to her left there, going up against the, the pole, the post. And the open field there, number eight, Veronica Lopez in the corner. Tavares trying to go get her. Oh, and Tavares, I mean, and, and Lopez, number eight, kicks that one out of bounds. And it's going to be a goal kick here coming up for the home team. The good girls, the good guys. This Bristol team. 
has done a great job of coming together, rallying around each other. Coach Jason Tassinari done doing a great job in year one. Coach Taz has found himself all over the South Coast coaching soccer. Kingston. I believe Coach Taz told me his first coaching gig wasn't even soccer. His first coaching gig, I believe, was tennis. I'll beat him in a tennis match any day of the week. That's without saying. Yours truly is a stud. But either way, Coach Taz knows how to coach. Got his team in great, great position here. But this one is not over yet. Let's not get carried away. Still got time. We've seen, we've seen these games go right down to the wire. We've seen just, and there's Cassidy controlling it. She's a captain. Cass trying to turn the corner. Cassidy to Raposa. Loses that one out of bounds. That's a great throw. What a nice throw there by Monique. The Knights definitely have put some true skill on display here. Veronica Lopez. Ooh. Right here. This might be one of the final chances coming up on eight minutes to play. Monique kicks it out to her side. Knocked away by Kennedy. Boy, they do a great job of playing keep away. Definitely great passing skills on display here today. Jarrett. Boy, they do it. Right to the side is Lopez. Oh, Lopez whiffs on it. That was just too bad there. Lopez might have had a shot there, but just whiffed on the kick. And now with a goal kick coming up here, Ashley Faye putting her boot on display. That ball looks like it might sail. No, it doesn't. Marcella centers it to number 10, Ariana, Ariana Douglas. Oh, nice defensive play there by Kennedy. Mackenzie Kennedy. Does a great job there to get it out of harm's way. Great heads up there by number 10, Mackenzie Kennedy. And we are nearly 39. Centered there. Good header there. Ariana Douglas. And Marcella could not save it.
We're coming up on five minutes to play in this one. And we have a corner kick here. If the Knights are going to do it, they better do it now. That's number 10, Arianna Douglas towards the goal. Haley comes out. And boy, Haley Jamel definitely took a risk there by coming out. But a good heads up play. I thought there might have been a whistle on the play. But it's going to be a goal kick. Faye to boot it. But boots it right into a green defender. And coming up on four minutes to play here. And Bristol, if they can hold on to this game, they will definitely have been like a bandit, like a thief in the night and stole this game away because the Knights, they've done a great job here. They played hard. Bristol has two, but and Pinkston gets that knocked away. Bristol going into a strong wind here. Okay, like. Wow. CCRI does a great job controlling play here. Marcella. Knights really feeling it now. They have to do something with it here. And a nice boot there by Faye. And now, now the now see now Bristol, Bristol with a couple good kicks there out of their own end. Things are starting to get dicey now. Bristol knows they cannot let the ball deep in their own end anymore. Lopez. I love the communication and the skill. Turn the corner, Monique. Oh, great job to get it out of there, stay. But it goes right to Lopez. Lopez centers it. Oh, great job there by McKenzie. Bristol definitely showing, saving their best for last here defensively. Oh, another great job there. Another nice takeaway to Toro. And we got two minutes to go. But we got a bond burner. We get a nip and tuck game. One nil. One goal here today by Alyssa Totoro. There's a boot. Veronica Lopez trying to handle it. And the captain kicks it out. But it still stays here. Yeah. Bristol's played passive all day, and there it is. Another boot by Faye to get it out of there. Bristol's starting to come alive, finally, defensively. <laughs> But definitely. And we have a woman down here. I think Bristol thought they had the game won.
All right, we're going to take a break here. We'll take a break here right on the field. We have an injury. Injury timeout. Bristol holding on to a one nil game. We'll be right back. Hey, how much time? How much time is really oh, less than one? Oh, less than one? Yeah. What's up with the clock? For this final home game for the Bristol Bayhawks, they lead one nil. Game clock says two minutes, but the final two minutes are kept on the field. So we have maybe less than a minute to play. If you hear that triple whistle, that game is over. So there still is time. There is time. There is time for the Knights to come up with a crucial goal. They'll need it. They need to come up with a flurry real quick here. And there's a huge boot towards the goal. Oh my goodness gracious. You've got to be kidding me. And like I said before, if you keep knocking on the door, you will knock it down. And how apropos is it that all day long, shot after shot after shot, nothing has found the back of the net. And then a long shot, the longest shot of the game, finds the back of the net. And you've got to feel right now for Heli Jamello. And this game is tied at one. Unbelievable. And now we have a game on our hands and all the momentum. You got to feel that the soccer gods were out here and push that ball in the net because the Knights, they kept pecking away all day long. And another shot. And I can't believe that one found the back of the net as well. What player was that? You've got to be kidding me. And my heart breaks for Coach Tassinari, Kelly DeMello and this Bayhawks team, and this Bristol crowd right here is stunned, as am I. Unreal. And there's no time basically left on the clock. Times are ticking. You've got to make something happen to Toro, and she'll get tripped up there. This Bristol crowd is stunned. I cannot believe what is happening here. And just like that, 2-1, the soccer gods have come here and have stole this game from Bristol. And when you wake up the soccer gods, there's a kick, it's up, you gotta put it in the net. Oh goodness, they had a shot there. Not sure how much time is left, it's not a lot. But we have a corner kick coming up here. There's a shot there. Great defensive play there. Time's ticking. And that is gonna be it. A stun. Bristol crowd and heartbreak has hit Fall River. Unreal. I cannot believe what we have just witnessed here. Bristol up one, one nil, seemingly game in hand. And with just seconds on the clock, a shot by a shot from midfield. <laughs> 